I'm Henry M. Sobel, uh, author of two books. One is called Premeltons in DNA, and the second is Organization of DNA and Chromatin. Both books summarize work done earlier while I was a professor of chemistry and molecular biophysics at the University of Rochester. This work eventually led to an understanding of how the famous anti-cancer agent called actinomycin D binds to DNA and exerts its mechanism of action. It has also led to an understanding of how other intercalators bind to DNA and exert their biological activity. The discovery of premeltons is a major step forward in understanding DNA and how it works in a living thing. A premelton is an entity that arises in DNA spontaneously before the actual strand separation of the DNA. A melton uh, follows. So what you have is the regular DNA form, the pre-melting form, and then a little bit of opening up of the DNA. That's why pre-meltons precede meltons in the melting of the DNA. By using actinomycin as a probe, we have discovered this beta DNA form, which is key in understanding what a pre-melton is and how this arises. So a whole, it's a, it's a whole uh, logical theory that's come about over the years, and that's why I'm publishing these books. The books explain the crystallographic studies we did earlier with intercalator complexes with small DNA fragments, and then from that we can extend to understanding what's going on with the bigger, longer pieces of DNA that are in the cell. Of course, DNA is one continuous structure, maybe having, uh, well, many thousands of base pairs in a circle. So it's always circularized, which is a very interesting situation. Uh, but in any event, uh, the, the basic idea is to excite people to know that science is proceeding uh, at great next speed uh, in this area, general area, and uh, this concept of pre-meltons is going to be right at the center. What I envision is that there are two groups of people interested in these books. One are uh, people who work in the area of uh, med modern medicine and molecular biology, who are interested in cancer, interested in how DNA works and so on. And then there are others who will happen in, in who, who already are there, who are interested to learn more about what is molecular medicine all about? How come some people come down with cancer, others don't? And how do genes really work? Well, how does DNA work? We know that, you know what DNA is, you can see it spinning around on a television screen, but that doesn't tell you how the DNA works. So I'm, I'm attempting to explain how DNA actually works by acting as a template for, we call it messenger RNA synthesis. Messenger RNA then makes the proteins, directs the cell's proteins, uh, a synthesizing ability, and proteins are the enzymes. Proteins are enzymes, or structural proteins, or all kinds of, th it's, th it's what you are made of. <laughs> They're paired, there are two of them. One has to do with understanding how the DNA exists so that it exists at the beginning and ends of genes, in the, uh, not only in the cell, but also in the test tube, you can show this. But here, how the DNA folds in chromatin, which is uh, in your chromosomes, okay? And how the chromosomes hold the information and finally open up when genes are activated. So that's why we have these two books. They're different subjects, but they're interrelated questions.